Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Madison, and today we'll be walking in the dark, so we uh, had to go through an elevator, and we had to kind of understand a little bit more about the Madison girl's uh, killings. <laughs> And yeah, now we get to walk in the dark and uh, face something evil. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go Turn on the power. I think we can run around with the light on. We don't have to have it so dark. There we go. So now it's just a little bit easier for us. And then last time we also got the clock key, I believe. And, you know, there's a clock here. So yeah, that works. So let's just go in. And we're going downstairs. This is weird. God. Uh, uh, my body. Uh, my hands. This is what the priest was talking about. That thing is. That thing is feeding off of me. What the fuck does this even mean? The house is full of clocks. Yeah, so tick-tock, time is against us, probably. Is there anything on the other side? Nope. Well, let's do a little, you know, exploration. Might be something of uh, value in there. Combination three left, twelve. Uh, I'm guessing right. Grandpa used to work in here. Can we go further? Nope, locked. So I bet you we need to use this. Use the crowbar. Yep. So we need to go back out. I bet you we can use that uh, that information with maybe the information that we got in the bathroom. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Right here. Maybe uh, 12 right, 8 left. Man, I really need to write this down, don't I? Well, here, let me... Let me get my phone here. We'll take a note so we can use this. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget by the time I get there. So... Let me real quickly, right? Three left. Twelve scribble. <laughs> it's probably going to be twelve right. Twelve right, and then eight left. There we go. Okay, that was crazy. I'm just chilling here. No need to get all dangerous on us here. Let's see if we can uh, open up the uh, the lock now.
this always freaks me out. I'm like, mm hmm. Okay. So, do we go three? Twelve. There we go. We got it. John, my son. I'm an old man already and life has passed to to all of us. I'm so proud to see the man you've become. So happy to have deeply enjoyed the two grandchildren that you gave me, Luca and Channel. I write this letter so that one day you can understand everything that's going on through my mind right now and debunk the myth that I'm a crazy old man. God does exist, and just like him does Satan. All my life I tried hard not to believe, but time has shown me I was profoundly mistaken. Your mother was not sick at all, and I couldn't prevent her sad ending from happening. As far-fetched as it sounds, Blue Knees is real. Not a single specialist was able to trace down the cause of her condition, not to mention find a treatment to help her fight. I truly wish I could go back in time and tell her I believe you. I kept trying to contact her for over 15 years. I just wanted to speak with her just one last time. Soon we'll meet again and I'll beg her to forgive me. This loneliness reminded, reminds me day after day how hard it gets to live without my most precious and beloved person in the world. At least I can see her face in every room of this huge house. Regarding the book, I tried to burn it, tear it, bury it, but there's no use bothering. It somehow manages to get back. Anyway, I now keep it in my possession, under locks and keys. I will not allow history to repeat itself. Thank you for being the son I've always dreamed to have. Love your dad, Albert Maxwell. And now we got a clock. Liar. Still trying to see, is there something that we can use to unlock that? But we're good. So we can actually pretty much take one. We can take one clock for another. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to, you know, good to have. She's getting angry with us. Maybe we need to take the clock that we just got maybe back to the clock room though. It might be more, you know, worthwhile. Uh-oh. Is it me or does it feel like dirtier in here? Might be going crazy. Okay. So we got a whole bunch of clocks here. So what are we trying to do? Okay, we'll just take that one. Okay, what time? This is all weird. It's like, what time? What's the like trick here? Because you know, you never know. We might be wrong here. We got this big clock. Let's 
see what time do we have there it's 11 55 Hmm. Don't know. Do we have to somehow get it like close to the time, maybe? Okay. Well, let's take a picture of that. So, so these ones are looking like that. So, let's first try to solve this. So we don't have any, so we gotta take one. So let's first try to solve this one. So we need one that's like, like that. Looks to be this one. So this one should go here. Because that looks like that. This one we already have. This one we need it to be... Okay, so we need one that's not here. Yeah, because we don't have it. So let's go find a clock. This is a, a struggle. This puzzle is pretty difficult. I do say so myself. I didn't really see that one in there anyway, so. Let's take this one. So this one should go here. That one Let me look here. Now this is about right. This one goes elsewhere. Let's make sure these are right, actually. I can't tell if that's a small or a big. Look about the same. No one knows. All right, we'll take this one. So what do we need, actually? What are we looking for? Looking for one that looks like that. Let's go check out the one in the uh, the other room. There's one way over here we need to check out. It might be this one. Yeah, that got me. I must say, someone's banging on the door somewhere. So I think this one might go here. Oh, we got it. There we go. Let me 
just take a picture. And we got a zero. It seems like you never finished this one. You know what? We could probably put the weight. Oh, I was gonna say, put the weight there. So now the question is, what are we gonna do with that clock, the new one? Well, we'll take it upstairs, I guess. Oh, you know what? Maybe the clock that he had on the couch? I can't, I can't take this anymore. I just can't. My whole body is going numb. Why is this happening to me? Oh, well, I don't think it's there anymore. Oh, we got something new here. This must be a combination or something. Okay. Oh, it's telling us how how far to go. Well, this might be for the red safe. We'll go check that out, I guess. We'll, we'll try to use his scribbling to unlock that safe. I'm glad, though, because I've been wondering, like, man, how do we get in here? Okay, so... I don't remember drawing any of this. Am I... going insane? So now we gotta figure out how to do this one. This is kind of difficult because, like, you can't look at it while you're you're doing it here. There we go. That was difficult. Whoa. Johnny's key. So I'm guessing that's our room. Oh, I see. I was wondering, I was like, man, you count the reds. But now since we have Johnny's key, we can go to another room. I wonder if it's this one right here. And we're in. Uh, a lot of weird pictures on the ground. This used to be dad's room. What happened in here? I guess we need to lift up the weights. Because we got a few. I made some weird noise. Uh, it's probably too big. Maybe the smaller one. That one seems to be a little bit too big as well. Is 
Is there another weight in here somewhere, maybe? Oh, you know what? I bet you we can use the the clock. Let's see what that does. Nope. Eventually did nothing. Will they tell us something? I hear like a mouse. Maybe it's telling me the mouse one's wrong. Maybe needs to be switched. Nope. This puzzles. Can we take pictures of it, maybe? Not that either. Okay, so I think one of them We'll raise it up. Bird. Don't have a bird in here? Got a fish. Fish looks a little suspicious. Let's just take everything off right now. Yeah, it's like a rat or something in here. So maybe it's like the food chain. So that's a bird. clock here. Is there anything? Oh, here we go. The snake below the rat. So the snake has to be below the rat. While the shark's in the depths. So the shark has to be the heaviest. The snake below the rat. Here we go. We figured it out. Just had to turn around and read stuff. Let me take a picture. It's all bloody. Blue knee. So this is the book that everyone was talking about? A long, long time ago, there was a creature whose name was unknown. It had always lived alone and was often seen on its own. 
One freezing frosty night, it began to feel so very somber that I fell into a two-day slumber. By the third day, it woke up in blackness with an illness so serious that both its eyes had vanished in the darkness. The creature creeped out of the bed and started crawling, looking for the eyes it knew for sure were rolling. It slithered and rolled so its knees turned blue and sore, since its eyes popped and tumbled, both of them as dust crumbled. It is to this day that it does not have a clue, but it is no excuse to end the pursuit. Now beware those fleeting eyes and make sure to turn on the lights, for your own sight is at stake if you cannot escape. He's afraid of the light. Use something bright for perfect for protection. The, the room has changed. Oh yeah, now it's like a children's room. My name is Johnny. I know this is impossible, but I think Dad wrote this. Can we take a picture? So maybe it was his dad that was possessed first or something? Oh, there's eyeballs. So it's somehow able to combat the, the light. Take a picture, maybe? No. There's a lot of pictures here, so I thought, you know, might be of use. Oh, that's gone. Okay, we, we got a good picture of him. So he does not like the, the, the camera. That's good to know. We probably shouldn't be in the middle. Because, you know, he can probably, we, we came in that, from that room, I believe. Here we go. What's this one? Same thing? Feels like a maze. Yeah, it's all messed sure up. This is what Grandma was referring to in her diary. So 
So it's back to that. Okay, there he was. So I guess we gotta hit him on each one, maybe? So we got this room now. So is he gonna come to see us? I mean, it's pretty bright in here to be honest. Oh, this is crazy though. Oh, I took a picture, you bastard. Yeah. We didn't make it. Alright, but I think we're going to stop there today. In the next one, it looks like we need to wait for him, take pictures of him, and then listen to the, the music or whatever. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. See y'all in the next one.